badly. As I say, I'm not going to take any questions or answer any questions here. I think it was confusing. We, we don't know what the purpose was. It was certainly some of your colleagues apparently got shoved around. Uh, and that seemed to be the only thing that really happened. Did you see him? Did you see the Did you know? All I heard was a commentator in phone conversation relaying the information. That's the end of the photo here. There's another person. Go all the way down. We're certainly happy that it's a beautiful day. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we had to complicate the matter. We had a... I was briefly out there in the lawn a little while ago. We had a, a, ceremony that was most enjoyable, 141 young high school students who have been picked from all over the United States and Puerto Rico and you know, our possessions, the, uh, all of them as prize students in whatever classification and picked for their excellence throughout the entire nation. It was a, they were a fine looking at the people. You know, pretty encouraged about the future. Last speaking about this, in the last few years, we have made some vast improvements out at the local level in our high schools throughout the country. The quality of education has become very mediocre, and we appointed a special commission to find out what the reason, but I remember when I was governor of California, 
the student ex exchange. And every year I would meet those that were in California. They'd come in a body, the capital there. And I had one question I'd always ask them. I would ask them then, they'd be in company with some American students, and I'd ask them, well, how was their schooling here? They'd go for a year here in high school. How did this compare? Was this uh, more difficult or less difficult than their own yeah. schools? Yeah. And I knew something was wrong during those eight years of asking that question, because they would stand there, all of these exchange students, <laughs> For a minute, and then they would look at each other, and then they would start to giggle and start to laugh, and then they would tell me how much harder school was at home than it was here in our country. I decided we were doing something wrong. <laughs> You'd be amused to know that President Eisenhower asked exactly the same question. <laughs> did he get the same answer? I'm afraid he did. But in my case, I was privileged because I was at a place called Choke, which is a very fine school. I certainly were part of children than I would have had in Switzerland. <laughs> well, the question that Helen Thomas there of the UPI was, was trying to uh, ask about the Red Cross and the present situation. You know, the only thing that I would say would we would be very pleased and grateful if you know, the Red Cross could, in connection with something we do very often, uh, any opportunity to check on the treatment that our people are getting and, uh, and uh, what their status is to help. And, uh, 